Welcome, folks. I am Jabby Kawai, joined by Char Kirk. What's up? We're looking at Marvel's What If Zombies. Yay! If you guys haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, bell icon, and all notifications. Also, please vote this video up. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're going to see a cut down version of our reaction because we're only allowed to show you so much picture in picture to stay within our legal parameters of fair use. If you want to watch the entire thing with this uncut, uninterrupted, head over to our Patreon page, patreon.com slash Jabby Kawai, where you can watch the whole thing along with us, but you'll need your own. Disney Plus subscription so you can open up the show in an adjacent window to our reaction. Looking at the title of this, What If Zombies, I'm immediately reminded of the press conference when we talked to some of the creators of this show mm -hmm. and someone had asked, why the zombies? And they're like, well, why not? <laughs> it was that simple. It was just like, well, we're doing this what if thing. Why not explore zombies while we're at it? Yeah, and, and I'm into it, it. The title really makes it feel like just because. What if zombies? Sometimes in my head, I imagine I'm, I'm a, like, conductor. I just want to be like... Yeah. It's a, it's a fantasy I live out every now and then. Dr. Bruce Banner fell from the stars to warn humanity of imminent danger. But the world he found was not one he recognized. What? <laughs> Thanos is coming. Who are you talking to? Where is everybody? Hello? Anyone got any clothes? Oh, Lord. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, God. <laughs> he straight up took one of their get ups. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, no. Time to go green. <laughs> Hear me and rejoice. Come out. Come out. Come out. <laughs> Oh. You are about to die at the hands of the children of... <laughs> what the hell? We're not seeing his face. He's a zombie. Uh, that sort of seems like overkill. Yeah. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> Appropriate response, yes. Ew! It's interesting how even as zombies, they know how to use their oh. stuff properly. I know. Oh, oh. oh no! Oh no! Oh. 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 Don't eat me! Oh 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 oh! It's the cape! It's the cape! Oh! Oh, oh. oh shit! Oh, this is terrifying! Oh no! No no no! Don't eat me! Don't eat! Me. I'm. Oh, oh, come on. What now? What the hell is going on? Oh. Oh, nice. I got a bomb. <laughs> You'll be safe with them. With the giant ants? Who are you? <laughs> That's right. Two weeks earlier. Dr. Hank Pym journeyed into the quantum realm, searching for his long lost wife. Oh, God damn it, Hank. Janet Van Dyne contracted a quantum virus that corrupted her brain. Oh, no. So when she finally reunited with her husband after 30 long years. Oof. Oh, God. That happened. How the hell did she get out? <laughs> <laughs> Some sort of like s smart virus. It was the Avengers' heroism that sealed humanity's fate. Oh, God. Ow! <gasps> oh, no! no. no. Here I come, bad zombie. <laughs> the sneak attack! <laughs> Eulogies. General Okoye of the Dora Malaje. Of course she would survive. My king went missing with the Avengers weeks ago. And yeah. for the first time since the outbreak, we actually have a reason to hope. A beacon just came in over the wires. Do we believe it? 
Oh, nice one. They, they're they above ground. Yeah, this is suspended by Peter's web. That location look familiar, Agent Carter? It's Camp Lehigh in New Jersey. Shield's first base of operations. Well, just when you thought things couldn't get any worse, we gotta go to Jersey. <laughs> hey. It's not that bad. I don't know why Jersey gets so much hate. Hey, yeah! <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Jesus. I can jumpstart the engine from the inside. This seems like the sort of place where there would be a lot of zombies. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Any other ideas? Well, not unless someone happens to have a giant slingshot. I've got an idea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, come on, pay attention. Ah! Is it affecting animals? No. Okay. I accidentally shoot someone, dude. Were you saying blam? <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, no! Who did that? Happy? Oh. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, he's dead. Happy! Oh. Happy! <laughs> <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Yeah! Oh, Ice, didn't you see his wings? Oh! <gasps> so acrobatic! Oh! Oh shit! What's he gonna do? <laughs> Sorry, Happy. That works. Slam. Ah! Oh, God. That was your friend. Dang. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, come on, guys. What happened? Is it stuck on someone? Here. Hang in there, Peter. They're almost here. Okay, get ready to disengage the brake. Oh, my no, God. No, 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 you're not all here. Okay. We did it. Destination Camp Lehigh. Don't relax yet. I know. I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, I can't. <laughs> did nobody watch Train to Busan? Something's bound to be on there. Oh. Yes, yes, you're absolutely right. Who is it? Oh, in the tunnel too? Sharon? Sharon! Oh, she did. I think you've had enough, Cap. Oh no, oh no. You gotta kill your bestie? Why does his arm look so big? Did it get bitten? Bucky! Oh my god! Oh, just explode, explode her head. I don't know. Don't swallow. Sorry, pal. Uh, good thing she's wearing a mask. I'm covered in Sharon. The kid has hand sanitizer. <laughs> No, don't. Ugh, what if it falls in your mouth? I think you're in trouble. <gasps> no! Oh, damn. Okay. Then we both know what you have to do. No. Not when we could be minutes away from a cure. Yes. Guys, uh, bad news. We're going to have to walk through that. Yeesh. It's a swarm. We will not make it through them. But you can make it over them. No, no, hope, no. Listen to me. We all know my time's up. And if I have to go, I might as well go out fixing the mess I started. Oh, she's gonna go giant? Is she, is she just gonna chuck him? Oh, she's just gonna walk. Okay. Attack on Titans. Attack on the <laughs> I screwed up the name of the show. It's late. Forgive me. <laughs> Let's hope that she doesn't remember how to get big when she turns. Did someone shoot her! Like, doesn't she deserve to die? That's frightening that she's gonna be a giant zombie. I would've killed her. 
quite honestly. I've been like, love you, bye. Uh, guys, why aren't they climbing the fence? Oh my god, is there something worse inside? Uh, they don't have to scale anything. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Your vision. One of the benefits of being an android, I'm not on the menu. Oh, yeah. The Mind Stone, the source of, well, me. It emits a subfrequency that is not to their liking. Could that mean the infection is some kind of encephalopathy? The virus overloads the brain's limbic system. So once I discovered the infected's aversion to the Mind Stone, I experimented to see if targeted exposure might reverse their condition. Were you successful? Ta-da! See for yourself. <gasps> oh, no, no, no! Hey! Scott! Scott! Lang? Is this Futurama? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it means you can cure others. But we'll need access to a satellite network to broadcast the Mind Stone frequency worldwide. But the technology required to do so is currently beyond human capability. Not in Wakanda. I'll canvas the base, see if I can find his transport. Sergeant Barnes, you will not find what you're looking for. But what will you find instead? I'm is kind of mad at Vision. <laughs> Oh, because he's just like hanging out? We're not the first to respond to vision signal. More survivors. Well, then where are they? What is up, vision? Behind you! Oh. Oh. T'Challa? Bucky. We have to run now. He's trying- he's trying to bring back Wanda! I'm sorry, Dr. Banner. I really do wish you hadn't found us. Vision, what the hell is this? Oh, this makes sense. Kozia! <laughs> we feared you were dead! He's trying to save Wanda. He's been keeping him alive to feed his zombie bride. The only course of action is to contain her. And her hunger. Why not eliminate her? I... couldn't. Love sucks. I still cannot entirely fathom what I have done. So you should have no problem submitting to human justice! She hasn't eaten in days. Dude, run! <laughs> oh, goodbye. She's a man eater! There it is! I'm doing <laughs> it! <laughs> Vision, we need your help. Get us out of here. Oh, she's too powerful. We got you, Leviosa. No, 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 no. Okoye, my king, Wakanda forever. <laughs> There's a quad jet in the hangar. You're not coming? I must atone for what I have done. Just like that? Oh, 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 no. no! Oh, shit. How was that the right move? The bed. Yeah. Somebody. Bucky! Like, that's gonna do anything! Is she gonna reanimate him? Well, something's still there, because her... She still feels something towards him, you know? Why did you think that was the right move, dude? <laughs> Come on! Oh! Bruce, 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 Bruce! Is he immune? Is he immune? I hope so. I saved the guy. Oh, oh, his skin. It can't be yeah. penetrated. Okay. I mean, wouldn't it be kind of cool for you to be the night nice one for a day? Oh, no, no. Come on. Oh, here we go. Oh, smash. Come on, dude. There yeah. we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, damn. Oh, come on, show us the fight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we did it. We really did it. No, don't jinx it. Ugh, doesn't anybody here watch horror movies? Uh, oh, no. damn. No. Oh. 
Firing thrusters. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she gave her life so we could get the cure. That's twice she saved me. That's very hope. It's interesting that she's still a giant. Yeah, it, take, it, it takes take a, a lot, lot out of, of them. Yeah. yeah. In my culture, death is not the end. They are still with us as long as we do not forget them. Ugh. Yeah. Oy, oy, oy. Him of all people saying I it. I know. Is... Even in the darkest of times, humans will give all to save their planet. Even if it might bring an end to the universe. Oh. Oh. Oh, damn. Oh, jeez. God damn. What an episode. We just ended on that? So Did he have all the infinity stones? Yes. Well, how is it possible he didn't have- Except, except for one more. Right. That's the one that they have. Right, 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 right. He was inside Wakanda, right? That was a wild episode. Yeah. It was a lot of fun, but like, oh my God. I, I can't, I can't with horror and zombies. I get very, very like wrapped up in it. I love that episode. Yeah, that I thought <laughs> I thought that was fantastic. You know, and I'm not even someone who's into zombie flicks or anything like that, except for Train to Busan or 28 Days Later. Like, sometimes I have those exceptions. Yeah. Uh, Train to Busan being my favorite zombie movie. This was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Like, to take... I didn't think I was going to be into this, to be perfectly honest. I thought this is going to be such a stupid gimmick. And oh, then no. I, I I already had an inkling when I saw a glimpse of it in the trailers. I was like, I think this is going to be really, really interesting and really cool. Yeah. And they definitely deliver. I underestimated it hard. and then I'm, But maybe that's why I enjoyed it so much. Because I'm like, oh, my God, like the drama. This is totally like Kate drama. It, yeah. In, the, in, ter in terms of its handling, like, I, I wonder if Train to Busan was at all an influence. The fact that they were on a train right. dealing with stuff, I'm like, that's got to yeah. be. I'm sure uh, Eric Voss is going to mention that. He's got to. It's yeah. got to be in his, in his you know, breakdown. Yeah. Uh, I, Paul Rudd's presence was awesome. I'm sure Eric Voss is going to mention a whole bunch of themes that I missed, but I did notice the Ant-Man theme in there. I'm like, oh, that's a nice little nod. And I think there was a Captain America uh, nod in terms of the themes when he showed up on the train. Uh, right before Bucky killed him, there was some kind of like horn in the background. Uh, oh musically. right! And I think so I was just too scared to even notice the music, which which seems so lame, right? I know it's an animation, it's a cartoon, but like I get really really into it when I'm watching this stuff, and like I can't help myself, but like the fear is real. Well, what the show is leveraging, or this episode is, it's leveraging the love you have for those characters yes. and the familiar the familiarity familiarity that you have with those characters. I'm sorry, it's really late. Chadwick Boseman line, you know, as long as you remember those people, like, oh God, yeah, it's know. heartbreaking coming from him. Exactly. You know? It just hits you because of, you know, we, well, we, we all know what happened. And right. so when he gets those lines like that, it's like, oh, we remember you. We're not forgetting you. I thought Sebastian Stan did a better job here then, I mean, it's also the writing, probably. Yeah. That he did in the Captain Carter episode. Yeah, he was much more Winter Soldier badass. He was much more himself. Yeah. He sounded like a human being, as opposed to this car caricature of himself. Right, yeah. For all of the harrowing adventure that they went through, that, like, we all collectively went through as the audience with them, I wish we saw more of the Bruce Banner versus Wanda fight. That's true. Yeah, it just it kind of went by really fast. And considering that it is animation, it's like you could do a lot with yeah, that. Yeah. And I don't know if anyone's really had that thing where they've gone, oh, I wonder who would win in a fight, Hulk or Wanda. That's exactly why. Yeah. Like, that's exactly why I would have loved to have seen more. Like, how exactly would that have played out? Because all we saw was like two exchanges. I'm like, no, give me more of that. That's honestly, so interesting. Though, honestly, though, I think Wanda would kick his ass. Let me she's, see that. She's super. Super, super duper strong. No, obviously. Yeah. But like, he can't be killed. So I want to see how that plays out. Like, if she, Fair it, point. It's, it's like an unstoppable object against an immovable, an unstoppable force against an immovable object. I right. want to see how that plays out. I didn't see where Thanos was, if he was inside of Wakanda or yeah, somewhere else. It looked like, cause I'm, I was looking at the buildings and it looked like inside the city of Wakanda. Okay. But like, well, that is where Infinity War took place. But I don't remember yeah. him going there until the very until he got all the rings. Uh, he oh, yeah, got you all know, the stones. You so, mean? I mean, sorry. Yep. Yeah. yeah. 
Shang Chi. We yeah. just got done watching Shang Chi. <laughs> oh yeah, it definitely is Wakanda because all of those zombies there are Wakandans. Yeah. Oh, he has all but one stone. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. now they're just heading towards them. That's right, because in Infinity War, he showed up there to collect the last stone, and yeah. it was from Vision. He pulled it out of his head. I'm kind of mad at Vision. Vision is just like con is Captain Useless. All the time, because we watched that scene from uh, if Zack Snyder did the airport fight, which is a reaction on this channel if you want to watch it, where it's like Zack Snyder's version of Captain America um, Civil War if he had done the airport fight. Right. And it just reminded me of how useless Vision can be sometimes. I'm like, this guy is one of the most powerful things on Earth. And he's just hanging out instead of saving, you know, uh, Don Cheadle. It's like, what, what are you doing, dude? Like, what are you doing? You just you're just making it worse. I I don't know. Maybe it is because he's still kind of learning how to human, but I, maybe that's not maybe. a good enough excuse. But you know, it it's I I get it. He loves Wanda so much that he can't bring himself to leave her. But like, okay, why? Why did you commit the thing? You know what I mean? Like, uh, well, is it stay and hang out with her and keep her in check? Or go with the rest of them. Like, make a choice. I mean, right. he no, didn't make a choice, but it was not a great one. I think what you're saying is correct, though, because he should have either, like, helped fight or went with them. It, like, why did you... Why Why would you murder yourself? <laughs> like, that doesn't make any sense. Vision's choices make me so mad sometimes. <laughs> Just so frustrating. Even in a What If episode. There were a lot of really great twists and turns and they definitely played really well with the zombie trope, you know? like And, and I love that we have Spider-Man Peter Parker as our guide because it's it almost feels like, I, I don't know, uh, what is that movie? Zombieland? In the beginning they're like, oh this is what you have to do to survive the zombie apocalypse or any sort of movie like that where you have someone who's kind of giving you the rules for survival and that's really fun but I, I just love how they played with that I thought it was really really cu really cute I low-key wanted to see Bruce Banner with the with Doctor Strange's cape as Hulk I thought that would have been cool like just to mix it up they showed it on on uh, Peter Parker at one point and I thought that was pretty neat yeah that was neat. Uh, but it, they didn't really do anything with it other than hey look at that hmm clues for future what's going to come in the next film oh yeah you know yeah, like yeah. that's it's it's probably a nod to uh, multiverse of madness in some capacity right uh, but it would have been neat to see how the hulk play with played with that it wouldn't fit him <laughs> it's like if he went into hulk mode it's like this little tiny thing on his back but how how hilarious <laughs> would that be if it's helping him to fly around and stuff i guess he doesn't need it it looks cute on uh on scott lang oh yeah. scott lang yeah. yeah, I mean, it just it, it just helps him to move around what, a bit. What the hell was Winter Soldier doing? What was Bucky doing? Like going after Wanda with a gun? Like, dude, like I know, it's like super brave, dude, but really dumb because she's got magic. What are you gonna do? Like use the shield against her? Right. Some of the kills were pretty fun as well. Like they were pretty creative. Pretty gruesome. Yeah, super gruesome. Like when uh, Okoye just cut. Falcon in half. I was like, ew. <laughs> but no, I, I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Like very, very uh, viscerally exciting, harrowing. Yeah. It was it was just a, such a cool episode, especially coming off the heels of the last one. You right. know, yeah, which, no, which yeah. really made us feel and everyone's going, wow, this is my favorite episode of What If to date. And then I, I was... This, I think this is my favorite. Yeah, they just, they keep topping themselves. And so I'm wondering, like, what are we going to get for the last episode? Right. I, I really wish they had Tom Holland uh, to voice Peter Parker. He was probably super busy. I'm sure. A, I'm a sure he was of busy. Who, yeah. Of course. He's one of the most important characters of the MCU. He's naturally, he's going to be busy making those movies. But I still wish it was him. You know, yeah, but his his uh, voice actor double person actually did a fairly good job, I thought. Yeah, I thought so too, but I could not help but get a little bit distracted going, is that Tom Holland? I can't, I don't think that's Tom Holland. Is that Tom, oh, maybe, no, it's not. Yeah, so, yeah, you yeah. know, it's like, I don't like having that kind of like back and forth with myself in the middle of watching it. I just want to be immersed. Sure. And so when you have, you know, more than half of the people on screen as the original voices and then one or two dudes are, is not, it just feels a little bit odd. Yeah, know? I think most of them were the original cast. Right. You know what I thought they did really well in this episode as well, was just balancing out the tension with funny moments. Because every time that it and the started- And drama. Yeah, and the drama. Because yeah. like anytime it started to get really scary, mm -hmm. then they would kind of add in some humor, which made it, 
made it palatable for me mm -hmm. because I get very tense when I watch these things. And so, yeah, I just thought it was really well done. Well, speaking of uh, a wonderful balancing act, I think that musically and, and tonally they did a good job because it was sort of taking the tone of everybody's individual movies, you know, uh, the, of how the... The, the feeling of those films or right. stories, you know, like for instance, the montage of surviving the zombie apocalypse was very much like straight out of one of the Spider-Man movies. Yes. And it was stuff like that throughout where they, they did a good job of, of nodding to the films that those respective characters come from. Yeah, totally. Yeah, it was it was really, really fun to watch. I can't even imagine how much time they spent like crafting this episode. Obviously, each of these episodes is very heavily crafted and takes a lot of consideration and time mm -hmm. and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But I feel like this one had to have been an extra challenge. It just had to be because they're m mushing together all these different... I, ke I keep trying to find the right word, but... I guess tone is the only word I can come up with where it's like, okay, you have the Winter Soldier and you have Ant-Man and you have Spider-Man Homecoming or whatever, like yeah. th those different attitudes that yeah. you get from each film all mixed together and musically as well, all while having a zombie apocalypse. And the thing is like the whole concept of the zombie apocalypse is really cool in itself. And, and the idea of like, what if, our favorite heroes what if the avengers were zombies like how bad would that be and they made the choice to have them still retain certain faculties so because because right. you would think well you have to establish things in in these movies right so they establish that even though they become zombies they still have their abilities and yeah. so it's even more terrifying because they don't just become like regular shuffling stupid zombies you know mm. they're like badass zombies so what do you do then right. you know and you have to kill your best friends and all i mean honestly though if i if i'm bucky and i'm being faced with a really scary captain america who's a zombie at that point i'm like dude you're not my friend anymore you're dead right speaking <laughs> of captain america i thought it was cool chris evans came back to voice those grunts <laughs> could you tell it was him no i'm just messing with you <laughs> <laughs> I was excited for a second. I was like, did he really? Did he really? I mean, I wouldn't put it past him no, know, to it, come it back and, and be like, oh, I'm going to have some fun and just go. <gasps> no, it, it wasn't him. But I mean, it just doesn't feel like outside the realm of possibilities with Groot. It's like, you, did you really need to bring him back just to record those? You know what I'm saying? I am Groot. Yes. But um, but anyway, uh, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Let us know your feelings in the comments below. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, thanks so much. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up. If you're watching this on Patreon, thanks so much for uh, supporting us here on the Patreon. I'm Jabby Kawe. This is... Achara Kirk. Peace out.